It's Monday. I figured I would do a little shaggy report. It's shaggy. What's that you got there, Dina? Oh, just some raw Brussels sprouts. What you gonna do with those Brussels sprouts? I'm gonna toss them in olive oil, garlic, salt, garlic, and then I'm gonna add some fresh shredded mozzarella on the top. Roast them in the oven. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so delicious. All right, they have been roasted for 35 minutes in garlic, salt, pepper, He's a huge chunk of cheese. Olive oil, and then we topped it with fresh mozzarella, and guess what? My kids love it. <laughs> Do you want to go under the waterfall? Hold your breath. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> what do you think? It's like being at the ocean minus the ocean. <laughs> Jordan! Hey! Jordan! Hey, Jordan! Hey guys, welcome back. Well, maybe I should say I'm back. Uh, it has been about a week and a half since I put out a video, so happy Sunday. Uh, today I already am mad at my job, and it's just because some customer complained yesterday. Um, I was cleaning some tables, and <laughs> I was cut from the floor, and I always try to get my section clean, so in case they have to seat um, a customer in that section and another server has to take the table, that they don't have to do any of my work, like clean under the tables or fill up the syrups or the caddies. And most of the time I try to keep up with that during the shift, but when you're busy, you're busy, you do what you can. Anyway, long story short, the hostess was looking over in my section to see if she could see the table. And I just gave her one of these looks. It was one of these. And then I looked down and I was cleaning my table, you know, and uh, I guess she sat them. Anyway, a customer comes up, they start complaining. Oh, the service was great. The food was great. Except for that girl that didn't want us to sit in her section. You know what, customers? Get the whole story. It had nothing to do with you. Quit being so self-centered. Happy Saturday. It's July 1st. And we are at the Evil Empire. And we had to go looking for Lily to get a new bathing suit because bless her little heart, her little boobies are growing. <laughs> so, the one she had was not doing her justice. And now we have to look for Jordan's stinky flip flops because the boys' feet are growing faster than a weed I can't find on a my rainy day. And of course, Lily has to have flip flops too, right? And then Bobby says, "I want sandals." Love the evil empire. Five bitches spinning, spinning. That's pretty cool. Count it out while you do it. One. Ah. <laughs> no. Oh, they're. Wild.
Welcome to another episode from my bathroom cabinet. So, um, I guess sometimes the best place to be is where nobody can bother you unless they knock on the door. But, um, so things have been going good. Today at work really, really sucked. I mean, it was just like out of towners and people that, I don't know, like what their deal was, but I got stiffed eight, count them, not four, not one, not three, but eight times, eight times. Do you know how much I made in a seven and a half hour period? I'm not going to tell you, but it was totally not worth it. So anyway, um, you'll see a clip of us at Walmart and got Lily a new bathing suit and I'm going to get half naked for you. Or am I? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm like the worst vlogger in the world. I wish that I would have thought about, I mean, I think of all these camera ideas while I'm swimming and then I'm like distracted by the kids, but, um, check this out. Yeah, are you... Yeah. Hold on. Okay, Lily. Show it off. Turn around. Turn around. It's pretty, huh? Alright, let me see. Oh, yeah. Girls like to show off their bathing suits. I got the fat lady bathing suit. Good morning. It is Saturday. It is 8.37 in the morning. And normally I would be at work, but today's an unusual day. And for some reason that always piques my interest when it's an unusual day. Let's just say it started with it being 4.45 a.m. And I'm waking up to wake up baby with my hubby with a cup of coffee and boom, followed by boom, followed by <laughs> that was a really bad impression of the lightning and thunder that I got to wake up to. Anyhow, let me get on point. Um, it's been a long time since I made a video and I figured that since I have the free time today that I'm going to maybe show you some meal prep and talk about some things in my life. Um, it's hard to do daily vlogs and I've given up on them, straight up, just given up. But um, I still like to make the videos. I am down to the phone camera, so that kind of sucks. But hell, oh, here's why I'm home. Go to work. 20 minutes into work, the, the electric goes out for about 30 whole seconds, computers go down, we have about mm, 20 minutes to recover from that, and bam, we get hit. Then, about, ooh, right at 8 o'clock, um, our floor plan for our servers comes out, and it was very different than usual. Um, and one of the girls decided that she was not happy with where she was at, um, and I'm not making a bad thing out of this. It's just that when you are in a certain place every single Saturday for a year plus, and then suddenly something changes, you got to wonder what it is that you did wrong. And um, she's short tempered, I'm short tempered, so I get it. Um, long story short, there were too many servers, and in the midst of all the drama, I was asked if I wanted to go home. And I hardly ever say no to that. Yeah, I need the money, but. I also need home time and family time. Um, Bobby still works at nights, so there's that. So if I can get some time in, I take it. So anyway, um, and I know God's got my back. If it's destined for me to be home, to spend time with my family, somehow, some way, it will be made up. It always is. I just trust in that. And it always works for me, so... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started on some of my meal prep because if I sit down and start watching Netflix, I will be done for the day and I want to be productive. So I'll talk at you later. Bye bye. But first I had to get my little sleeping beauties. <laughs> really? We got a peanut, but no Dina. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Coca-Cola? I, I know. sue you. So hey, this is a rarity. It's what, July 14th and we have cloudy skies. The high temperature today is going to be like 80. So I think because I haven't done it yet and I'm trying to come up with ideas for videos, 
Um, I'm probably going to take you guys to the pool today where the sun's not blazing hot and I'm not afraid to put my phone out because the sun won't kill it. But look, it's really kind of cool. Probably not cool from your point of view. Anyway, catch you later. Good morning. It's Saturday. Hopefully I don't get caught early this week. Co-workers are coming in, locking their vehicles, stuff like that. But I have a valid complaint already this morning. Why do you have full staff in the middle of the summer? Why? I, I get it. School's coming up. Uh, holidays are coming up. But 14 girls on a Saturday, two of us might be expoing. Doesn't make any sense. I just... I just don't understand why you're hurting my pocket. Why? Alright, well, the good news is that we're about to go swimming. No, wait. Let me start over. The bad news is, is that I did get cut. Well, I didn't really get cut. I volunteered to go home. Um, earlier I said, man, I hope I don't get cut, but guess what happened? Something clicked and changed in my mind, and I realized that um, I would much rather be at home not making money than being at work not making money so <clears throat> it was a conscious decision of mine to volunteer to go home there was 13 servers there and one expo what's the point um yesterday there was only nine of us and i was cut at 11 30 so whatever i'm not hurting for money i mean i am but what am i gonna do you know it's more important for me to spend time with my kids right now. So, that's what we're doing. We'll look around for them. In the bathroom? On the bed? We're going to go swimming. Behold, we are the first people. Say hi. We are the first people here at the pool. Look. It's here. awesome. We get it to ourselves for as long we as we can. We get it all to ourselves for Lord knows how long. Alright, this is <laughs> Lily's like fourth time jumping off the diving board. And guess what, sister? That was the end of us being alone. Oh, that hurt! <laughs> That's it. We got our whole five minutes in before anybody else got here. Oh. That's okay. I broke my face. <laughs> so what happened? Um, apparently there were some technical difficulties. Maintenance issues. <laughs> and we don't know what it is, but they won't let us in any of the pools. We've been here 40 minutes. I yes. was just getting into my workout. I was about to go off the diving board again. Enjoy this time lapse of the clouds that we're watching. Well, good morning. It's Friday, July 21st. Um, today has been an interesting morning so far. Um, I had a friend reach out to me who just recently got clean and is trying to get his life together. Props to you if you're watching this video. I'm not going to put out a name out there, but um, it really got me thinking. Um, it was exactly, not exactly, but pretty close to about a year ago when my brother-in-law had an intervention with me. And uh, it was life-changing. And today has been a morning where I've just been reflecting on it. Especially after last night, um, last night I posted that I am fused with the thought that I'm afraid of success. And here it is a year later, and I have had very many new and successful things happen in my life. So what am I so damn afraid of? Well, we'll get to that later. I'm at work right now. really don't want to, like have a five-minute conversation at work about my home life but 
anyway, um, happy Friday. Uh, there's going to be some clips from some things in the last month. I am going to attempt the daily vlog again, so if you've missed me, um, I'm back. Okay, bye. Did I mention that it's freaking 79 degrees outside and it's only 7, like 13 in the morning? <sighs> I hate the summertime in Arkansas. Is it hot where you're at? There's something, there's something inside me that pulls beneath the surface Consuming, confusing This lack of self-control I fear is never ending So hey guys, it's like 1.15, it's Friday afternoon Right now, Bobby and I are working hard See what's going on here behind me? Our dryer busted, but you know what's good about uh, my mother-in-law is her having given me two. So we're rearranging and putting the one that works in. But it's like 98 degrees out here with a heat index of 112. Fun times. Okay, so that's slightly nightmarish because... It wasn't just a simple remove the dryer, replace the dryer. It was let's take the door handle off of the dryer because it wouldn't fit. And then we get it halfway through the door and it still wouldn't fit. So we'd take the hinges off the door. Fun times. But I'm about to load up the truck and I think I exaggerated when I said a year's worth of cans. But uh, you can see them. Uh, that might haul is five or six bucks. But they were getting to be where they were junking up the yard. And it's just time to get rid of them. Know what I mean? There's something to be said about Southern hospitality, and uh, when you know somebody, it's good. Um, you know, I grew up with values of that you work hard, you don't expect anything from anybody. And it was really, really hard for me when I first moved down here to accept that people would, like, give you breaks. Uh, like, the electric, you know, if you pay your bill on time for a certain amount of time, they'll let you slide for, like, a week or two. The water company lets you go for two to three months as long as you're consistently paying your bills. Um, car payment, you know, if you miss by a day up north, I think because there's so many more creditors and they have been, they have been screwed so many times, uh, you know, you lose your car in 24 hours if you don't make your payment. Anyway, getting to the point here, Lily, how much do we have there? How much? 13. No. Ten dollars. Okay, we had fifteen fifty, and uh, thanks to knowing somebody here at the recycling place, you know, we got that much for our cans. And it could have been, should have been twelve dollars, but uh, I'm grateful that I know this person, and I don't want him to get in trouble, so I'm not going to even say where we went. But if you know me, then you know who it was that hooked me up. But uh, we're going to go get some water and I'll turn on the AC in the truck because the smell was just uh, rancid on the way here so the windows had to be up. But it's very loud here. I'm trying to go. Bye. So I think I'm going to end this ridiculously weird vlog. vlog. Uh, right now I have to walk my brother-in-law's um, dolly back to his house. Get in my 10,000 steps. Um, so, you know how I had that disclaimer about this video not making any sense. Um, now I can clean out my phone storage. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.